just your television sets. <laughs> this is Cynthia Lloyd. Yeah. Okay, hang tight. Hang tight. We know that Cynthia is a crier. She's gonna hold in it for two seconds. Just two seconds. <laughs> Andrea Bain is off today, but TV producer Kate McKenna is back filling in. Welcome, Kate. Thank you. Cynthia, you have been missed not only by us yeah. here at the show, but by you at home, you, our viewers. So many people have been asking about you. And um, we wanted to start the show with asking you a little bit about um, why you've been off. Yeah. And I'm going to try my best. Yeah. You got this. Oh, this is so... Guys. You got this. You got it. Breathe. This is one of the things... Take a deep breath in. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, some of you who've been following me on social media do know a bit more, but for those who haven't been, um, basically I was on mental health leave. And it, in a nutshell, it was burnout. And burnout is not a mental health diagnosis, but it does intersect with things like depression and anxiety. And so it was a, a, like a collision of things that kind of came together in the fall. And, um, and yeah, I, to be honest, I didn't even know that burnout was an actual <laughs> like yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, isn't that something that like Hollywood people say that they're you know, going through and it's sort of a euphemism for something else. But as I've learned and as I've done like a really uh, so much work, it is an actual thing. And so many of you have reached out to me as well with similar stories, whether you're in the healthcare industry or you're a teacher or you're a mom. So I really have so appreciated um, hearing other people's stories as well. It's been, been really mm. heartening. Oh, yeah. God, I love you. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen, how did you know that you needed the time off? Like, was there a moment? Yeah, th you know, looking back now, a lot of people in my life have said, like, well, I'm surprised it didn't happen to you sooner. <laughs> but uh, there was something building in the fall, and it was a bunch of different things. But I, in a nutshell, I showed up for work on a number of occasions. And if there was anything in our morning meeting where we discussed the topics of the day, that was a little bit emotional, um, a little bit sort of like heavy. heavy. Yeah. I found myself bursting into tears and I couldn't stop crying. And I could also was having a really hard time holding a thought in my head at all. Mm -hmm. And so mercifully and gratefully, my boss noticed and she suggested that I took to take some time off. And when I spoke to my doctor, my doctor agreed mm -hmm. that this was not, a, you know, an everyday, this was not like me in right. any way. And so I spent basically the better part of like, you know, the first month off just going between crying and <laughs> resting and making puzzles with my son and sort of rinse and repeat and also doing a ton of therapy and I'm so again so grateful to have had that kind of mental health support um, mm -hmm. during this time. Mm -hmm. you know? Well I know so many of our viewers but also everyone on our team is so so happy you're back. Yeah. Um, what are you doing differently now? Oh my god how much time do we have? <laughs> Um, I mean, I, yeah, they, literally there are a million things I'm doing differently, but one of uh, two things that I'm doing differently are in the space of like my body and in the space of my mind. So when it comes to my body, one of the things that is true about this show and I think true about many types of work is that we are in a fight or flight sort of reaction in our everyday thing. And sometimes that gets activated in our morning meeting and sometimes obviously it gets activated here. And, but you know, like that's part of our biological system that we have. Um, it was meant to protect us. And a lot of us are in that system for a long period of time during our day, whether it's in a loud car going by or we've got something going on with our family family or in our workspace, all those things, I've needed to learn how to resolve that. So it's like taking little mini breaks, whether that's breath work or stretching or all those kinds of things. So that's one piece. In terms of my mind, I mean, there's so many things I'm doing differently, but I will say I'm trying to expend less energy in places where I don't need to expend oh, energy. Mm -hmm. And that comes back. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I'll just say quickly that... Social media is a huge space where I want to be a part of it, and I've been so happy to connect with people there. But it also, I mean, if anyone's listening and knows the feeling of turning on your phone and feeling yourself suddenly down a rabbit hole of, like, images of war and images of, of, of people living their lives and all the things that can stir inside of you, juxtaposed with the cat video, it can be yeah. very alarming. And I think sometimes we need to take an honest look at ourselves and where we're leaking out energy and coming back to ourselves and utilizing that more wisely. So... So smart. Mm -hmm. And Sin, you're going to be back with us uh, not 
full time right away, you're going to graduate. Yes, I'm back. Yeah, I'm <laughs> baby steps, baby steps in, but I'm around. Yeah. Yes, and I'm here. And okay. I'm also so grateful. Can I just say thank you to this entire team for you guys had to step up in a different way while I've been off. And so, and you filling in all the time, you've been killing it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Killing it, Kate. So much, so much. Yeah, yeah. we oh love you. God. We love you. I love you too. Uh, you everybody loves you. We know why. So do whatever you need to do to stay um, as healthy as you can in body and mind. We love you. Thank you. Love you. We love you. Thank you for sharing. And she didn't cry. <laughs> And of course, if you did, we have the Kleenex yeah. because, you know, Kwame. Kwame's ready that's for you. That's the team we have. That's the kind of team we have, mm -hmm. absolutely. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.